Uh, let me show you uh, quickly. Uh, okay. Put this in there. Sorry for the interruptions in terms of uh, the chat. <laughs> okay, so basically that's it. Okay, that's our studio. Um, first light of uh, our studios. Um, and you can enter uh, right there in the Facebook uh, fan page. And if you like us, you know, it would be really cool. And you can keep up with our developments and uh, uh, different projects that we are working on right now. And you can follow our progress if, if you want. Right. So, um, and uh, about the studio, uh, it's been founded uh, actually this past year during October. Uh, but uh, we have been working really since uh, 2010. Uh, so it's you know it's been uh, almost six years now that that we have been um, you know uh, working um, making um, uh, video games, but uh, still. Uh, it's just a bunch of prototypes, honestly. So it's not like uh, we have uh, most experience in terms of uh, actually uh, distributing and, and selling our products yet. So uh, basically, this is the first uh, uh, AM uh, drag racing. So basically, uh, it's a game about a quarter mile and, and, and half mile uh, drag racing basically and and we are working this other game too uh, but but right now uh, the the game we are gonna talk about is is, is radiance um, which is uh, then the other so briefly to describe uh, what is the game about um, is uh, the genre is a beating up or brawler uh, basically, the player, you know, be looking to <clears throat> uh, fight all the way around and, you know, get as much points as possible and, uh, you know, just have fun, <laughs> uh, you know, kicking some ass around uh, as much as possible without, you know, getting killed. And uh, we are adding a little bit of... Um, you know, uh, like different uh, mechanics, uh, like trying to redefine a little bit the genre. So we are trying to we are trying to do while being a, as careful as possible to retain the you know the soul of a beat 'em up game. We don't want to mess too much uh, with what the player expects uh, to see and feel in a beat 'em up game, but still would like to make a little bit of a difference uh, like evolve the genre a little bit so that's why that's what we are aiming for with the, in, in this game so uh, I'll get out of Facebook now right and uh, uh, well uh, basically this is our uh, actual project inside unity and uh, I don't know, guys, uh, I, I was reading uh, through the, the page of the activity, right, that, that you were, uh, you know, you wanted to hear about uh, some specific uh, topics in particular. Um, it's, uh, I, I think now is a good time uh, if you want to tell me. Let's discuss about level design, like how... Um um, I know. Well, it's it's a pretty uh, pretty big area for in investigating. And what thoughts do you have about the level design, about uh, making an interesting gameplay? So the, the question is, uh, how to make a good level design and interesting gameplay? Okay. Okay. So yeah. Um, let me repeat. So uh, make make sure I I, I read you. Uh, basically, you're asking about the level design, uh, uh, what should be the, the guidelines for level design uh, that, that could be interesting for, you know, keeping the, the game interesting uh, for players. 
Yes. Well, uh, there's quite a, you know, a few aspects about that. Um, I'm not actually the level designer for our game. Um, he's not here right now. He's, uh, uh, he's really good at, at it, but I've been working really close uh, with him, uh, actually in the, in the same office. So um, we, we have talked uh, talk about this, so I can give you a little bit of insight and also I can offer you my, my personal opinion too and a little bit of uh, our lead game designer. So uh, just saying so, you know that it's a, a complex area. So, so it's a little bit of experience of uh, each of the key uh, team members that uh, deal with uh, different aspects of the actual uh, level uh, level design, right? Um, okay, one guy is asking to show the gameplay of the game itself. Show the game? Okay. Okay. Say, okay. So let me let me you there? Okay. So let me load the uh, the actual scene that is needed to play it correctly. Yeah, actually I, I want to see it uh, me too. <laughs> okay. So Okay, so uh, you're seeing it? Yeah. Okay. okay. So, this is how it's dark and the main menu. Okay. Um, th this is something really important, you know. Uh, the music is our own, right? So it's not a music, it's not some track that, that, that we downloaded or, you know, that's, that is generic. It's being composed for the game. Um, if you can do that, uh, it, it's really going to be great. Um, as, as, as you can, uh, you know, uh, see, it adds a lot of value to the feeling of the game. The most important thing in a game is its soul. Right? Every game should have a soul and, and should tell you something just by seeing it, just by hearing it. And if you can achieve that, you you are in a good track. Okay? I would say, I would say uh, it must have a, a mood, right? Exactly, the mood. Exactly. Uh, the immersion factor. Right? So, as it, uh, you know, as long as you get the player to immerse uh, in, in, in your gameplay, right? Um, then uh, you're winning this game, you know? As a designer, as a developer, you're winning the game because you, you will keep the attention of the player. And uh, most of all, uh, you arise interest, right? And, and that's really something really important you need to look for. And it's uh, somewhat difficult to achieve if you are not, not too connected with the game yourself. But if you are really connected with your idea and, and you can, you know, uh, imagine yourself inside that world, whatever it is, you know, I bet you will make it really interesting. Um, so right now, uh, in terms of the game, uh, I'm using the I don't see somebody. A sync load level, or it's called load level a sync application load load level a sync, and you can make it. Uh, let me let, let me mute the audio in here so I can hear you a little bit. Sorry, uh, so you won't be able to hear the audio for the video game, so I can hear you better, guys. Sorry for that. Uh, can you repeat again? Sorry. I was saying about uh, the coding when you use application dot dot level, you can use. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the camera. Yeah, I, I'll 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 give you the secret of how it's done. Uh, let me just uh, play that well. 
So if I get in here, I can crush that, and then the beer spills, and the beer stop the fire. So as soon as I see his second free, he goes, right? And you get more points. And you can get to get this meat that is in here, uh, too. Right now, uh, I was not careful, and I'm getting fired, and caught fired. So I, I have to keep moving until I, uh, you know, or if I'm in, I'm in here, I can actually, uh, you know, uh, go in, in there. I died, <laughs> right? Because I, I was not careful and I got oh, I wish you uh, big success. Uh, well, so, uh, that you create is very, very uh, nice. Uh, uh -huh. Playable, I see it's very playable. Uh, damage systems, yeah. Uh, yes. So, uh, in the near future, I hope you will uh, present uh, an, uh, more uh, fragment of the uh, of this game. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Thank you for today. Uh, okay. Okay. Success and all. Okay, so it's time, time to run up, uh, so thanks you all uh, for the opportunity um, and I hope uh, you keep enjoying your activity and learn a lot. Um, I hope I was uh, of enough help. Uh, uh, when you told me about the camera, I'm sorry for taking a little bit more of time. Uh, what I do is I have a trigger. Right? And there's a structure right in there, floating. And, and you are transitioned to another camera where all the action happens. So yeah, that's what uh, about the, probably the question about the camera. And uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's been a pleasure. And uh, if you need more information or if I can be of help, uh, feel free to add me as friend if you want. Uh, and you can ask me, you know, through messages and I'll be more than glad to answer. So, hope you have enjoyed. Okay, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay, bye-bye uh, and uh, keep in touch. Sure. Uh, okay, thank you. This is the first Jose Torres, a creative developer of the study important în arealul nostru, așa, mondial, de, de game development. Ok, bye, see you soon! Ok. Vreau să spun câteva cuvinte spre dânsul. El, pe lângă faptul că el programează absolut tot, tot ce ați văzut acolo, tot, 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 tot. El pe deasupra îmi le faci cu mâna lui. În 3D. Da. Le modelează, le sculptează, toate personajele sculptă, că am înțeles că el lucrează în ZBrush. Da. De vădăt seama, el a programist și a crescut în mai multe aspecte la game de lume, dar a învățat cum se intelează personajul, când a lucrat cu dânsele, apropo, e chestii foarte grele.